all living the stories that we tell ourselves. Change the story and you change your life. But you've got to spend a long, a long time in there. The ordeal is important. You know, uh, the st stories are always about ordeal. What story is not about ordeal and challenge? You know, because that's what life is about. And, uh, you know, that's how life changes us. That's how we cut our teeth. That's how our metal is tested. Um, and, and, you know, by the same token, stories themselves are meant to change us. You know, to the ancient storytellers, you know, who you were when the story began is not who you are when the story's over. You've changed just in the hearing of that tale. And, and, and that's, how, that's as it's meant to be. You know, we get caught in the backstory. I mean, imagine if you, you know, we perseverate. We just keep going back over things. We do the, you know, Monday morning quarterback. You know, I should have done this. I should have said this. Why didn't I do that? You know, and, um, and that's not fruitful. That's not being in the story. That's not changing the story. That's not changing our lives. That's not allowing the story to change us. That's perseverating on the backstory. And, you know, imagine if you were listening to a story you know that once upon a time and the characters are you know introduced and they were living in a forest and blah 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 and you turn the page and once upon a time before i i talk about how we can become the heroes of our own story i want to tell a story um and it's a it's a celtic story about one of the one of the great grail seekers who was percival his name percival so um percival's father actually was also uh, a, a grail seeker and his his grandfather as well uh, his grandfather was the fisher king and his father loses his life in the process of his quest for the grail loses his life due to the treachery of his rivals and his father's friends are concerned and they fear for percival's um, uh, safety because percival's legacy is to become a, a grail seeker himself and so they encourage Percival's mother to take herself and the young boy away and hide out in a remote woods and, and remain there. And so Percival grows up in the woods having no notion of, of his legacy. Well, one day he sees a band of, of warriors, Knights of the King, who have entered the forest and have encamped there. And he climbs up a tree and he begins to watch them. And he watches them with fascination and what he sees um, in their, you know, tests of skill and their games and the way they carry themselves and speak to one another is his own unevolved self. And he sees in them who he longs to become. So he packs up his uh, few belongings and he says goodbye to his mother and he takes to the road. And he's completely innocent. He's completely untested by life. He's green, he's wet behind the ears. And um, before long, he encounters a three-pronged road, a three-pronged fork in the road, three roads. And so he stands there at the fork and he's trying to figure out um, which, which road to choose, which way he's gonna go. Nearby, he sees a man of the Fae who's sitting under a tree playing the flute. And he walks over to him and he says, do you happen to know where these three roads lead? And the man sa says, indeed I do. He says, the first road leads, will lead you to a sumptuous feast and every delicacy and the finest of cuisines will be made available to you endlessly. Your plate and your stomach will never be empty. The second road will lead you to a beautiful glen where you will hear the most exquisite music that you have ever heard. And this music will immediately take you to a place and a level of bliss and peace that you have never known. And it will be so deep that it can never be diminished and it can never be altered. The third road, well, the third road is a treacherous road indeed and fearsome beasts and calamitous terrain abound and um you know you are likely to encounter fierce battles and treacherous foes and no one can really say what might happen to you there 
but which road will you choose? And Percival says, why the third road, of course, because everyone knows that's the road of the hero. <laughs> so that's one of my favorite Celtic stories. And I love that story because I think that it explains why we are here. Um, each one of us was a Percival when we came into this life, aware that life would be hard, but certain or at least hopeful that we were up to it and that we were in it for the adventure 